WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Friday, November the 12th, end of the week, and we're looking at the Dow up 57. I think Johnson & Johnson gave it a little bit of a boost. 35,978, that high that was made at 36,565. Uh, at the beginning of the week, no, was that Friday? Let's see, today, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Yep, on Monday with that little doji candle um, is, and that's that's where we, we took a, a short position right there at the Dow within 40 points of its all-time high. Um, we're looking at uh, the Dow sitting right on the 14-period moving average under the 15, under the 9-period moving average. This is going to be a really important session because if there is some kind of trigger for an upside move, the Dow has to actually get into the 36,160s, at least by Monday, to say, you know what, I, I, I'm holding well. But at this point, it is really not holding well in the short term. Weekly chart in my show, the Tiger Technicians are coming up in a few minutes. We'll look at that. We'll look at them in all the different indices. We're looking at the S&P up 5 at 46.54, all-time high, 47.18.50 on uh, Friday, and we last Friday. So this is, this is a digestive moment in the near term, but so far you can't really talk about it other than I'll talk about the weekly resistance. Go to the QQQ, the NDX 100 trading vehicle that is trading up 71 cents at 391.31. Stuck in a little bit of a range at the low here. The 400.99 has not been pierced yet. And we're looking to see whether this digests as well. But I'll talk about the semiconductors, which are really important when I get back from my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour. And now we're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000. Russell 2000 acting quite nicely. It's up 41 cents to 239.70, but it made a high of 244.46 uh, on last Friday, I believe it was, or Monday, and it's pulled back since then. We're watching this for next week really closely because there is a chance that we've got a short-term top in place. So far, the near-term top is in in already unfolding what we're looking at is in gold a little bit of a pullback and then it rallies so now it's unchanged at uh, 1863 good action towards the higher range of the, of uh, this week a fabulous week for uh, for gold the dollar was in fact going in parallel motion with gold very unusual and today up again up seven ticks at 95.23 kudos is the one that i said a week ago that uh, more than a week ago that it was making some kind of a top and yep it's still down it's at 80.66 there's a lot to talk about in my show, The Tiger Technicians Hour. I'll be back. Don't forget, my 